Eagle 9, the affordable inflatable fishing boat, perfect for motoring around. Great for rowing with one or two persons. And of course, it's excellent for fishing. Hi, I'm Dan from Seagull.com, and today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the Seagull 9. Now with a rigid removable inflatable high pressure floor. Can you believe it? The entire 11 foot boat, seats, oars, floor, pump, and repair kit fit in this all purpose carry bag, making the Seagull 9 perfect for storing and transporting. Unpack the contents of the carry bag. Locate and attach the six white valves that look like this to the corresponding valve bases on the floor, seats, and boat. Note that this is a one-time setup and the retainer rings are designed to fit snug so as to prevent loss. Screw the valves in tightly in place and remove the caps. At the rear of the SC9, underneath the inflatable floor, are the floor drains. Make sure that they're securely tightened. These are a great option for draining water off when needed. If you have the optional Seagull Fish Control with Scotty Rod Holders, we'll review the one-time pre-assembly now. The parts included in your kit are one aluminum board, two Scotty Rod Holders, two Scotty Universal Deck Mounts, eight short screws, and all you'll need to bring is a single Phillips head screwdriver. Attach the Scotty Universal Deck Mount to the pre-drilled holes on the aluminum board using the screws included in your kit. On the top of the deck mount is an arrow that reads inboard. You want to make sure that this is pointing inboard or towards the middle of your aluminum board. To attach the Scotty rod holders, point them towards the center of the aluminum board and insert them into the deck mount. Scotty rod holders allow for 360 degree rotation as well as changing the angle of the rod. This is what it looks like fully assembled. If you have the optional motor mount, these are the parts found in your kit. Two support bars, the motor mount board itself, two brackets, four neural nuts, four bolts, four washers, and two pins. Remove the pin from the straight side of the bar. If you have the Seagull Fish Control, place it in between the motor mount grommets at the rear of the boat. Insert the straight side of the bar through the rear grommet, over the fish control board, and back through the front grommet. Reattach the pin's tether. Insert the pin in place, going from the inside of the boat to the outside. Take the remaining end, flip up the rear of the boat, and locate the grommet on the underside. Insert it through the grommet and the push pins will lock it in place. Take one of the bolts and insert it through the bracket from the inside of the boat towards the outside. Take the motor mount block and make sure that the holes are closest to the bottom. Insert the bolt to the hole on the outside. Slide on the washer and secure it with one of the black neural nuts. Repeat these steps until the motor mount is fully attached. Locate your foot pump and hose. On one end of the hose is a large adapter. You're going to screw this into the port on the pump that reads and points to inflate. On the other end of the hose, you'll have multiple adapters. Grab the one with the large mouth and insert it by screwing tight. Insert the hose into the chamber one valve and begin inflation. Use the clear inflation monitor located with your repair kit to assure that you achieve the correct pressure. Continue inflating the chambers in chronological order. There's no scale for chamber number two, so just inflate it until it's firm. Sea Eagle offers an electric pump 
and a battery power center with 12 volt plugs for added convenience. Remember to only use a Siegel pump and never an air compressor. Because the floor and seats are now encased in a superior high strength protective nylon fabric sheath, they can be inflated to a much higher pressure for increased rigidity. Inflate to suit your needs or until you just can't pump anymore. Now once you've inflated everything, don't forget to replace all the air valve caps. Secure them tightly. Or assembly is quick and easy. Simply slide on the blade snap into place, and you're ready to go. Now let's go over the assembly of the optional canopy. Unpack the contents of the canopy box, which includes the canopy, two knurl nuts, two brass sleeves, four washers, two U-bar frames, two scissor bars with pre-attached straps and clips, and an additional strap. For the SC9, you will also have two additional brackets and two bolts. Unfold and lay out your canopy with the rough side up and the smooth side down. Grab the ends and fold them up towards the center. You'll note that there's a cutout on one end. You'll want this to face the front of your boat. Lay your U-frames in line with their sleeves respectively on top. Note at this point you'll want the pre-drilled holes facing up towards the front of the canopy and facing down towards the rear of the canopy. Take the front U-frame bar and push it through the front sleeve until you can see it at the center cutout. Locate the strap, slide it onto the U-frame, and continue feeding the U-frame through the front sleeve. This is what it should look like. Now repeat that step on the opposite side minus the strap. Now flip the rear end of the canopy over and begin connecting your scissor support bars. Attach the bar without the strap to the front of the canopy. They will easily snap together. Attach the remaining bar with the pre-attached strap to the rear of the canopy and repeat these steps on the opposite end. Now you're ready to attach your canopy to the boat. Take your canopy and with the center black strap facing up, set it on the rear of your boat. Line the ends of your canopy up with a canopy bracket on the boat. Take one of the bolts and slide on a washer. Slide that in through the canopy from outside the boat inward and slide on your brass insert like such. Insert that into the canopy bracket. Slide on the canopy plate, then another washer and secure it with the neural nut. Repeat these steps on the opposite side. Attach the rear canopy straps to the rear oar holder clips. And attach the front center strap to either grommet at the front of the boat. The Seagull 9 makes for a quick and affordable and extremely convenient way to get out in the water. And packing it up is just as quick and easy. Remove the oars. Detach and remove the canopy. Unscrew all the air valves to release all the air. There's no particular order. Remove the motor mount and the fish control. Remember to never store your sea eagle wet. Quickly wipe it with a towel or even simple air drying will work. Now grab the other end of the sea eagle and pull it over and make one big fold in half. Then take the two ends that you just folded over and fold it back over itself, basically a double fold. Now here's a tip for folding up your SC9 so it fits in the carry bag. If you take the shaft of your paddle and you put it in line with the very top of the carry handle of the carry bag, so this is the top of the bag and the very end of the front of the boat and start your fold back and just make sure that it lines up with the carry bag where it will fit in there, you'll be perfect every time. 
So now that I have that lined up, I'm gonna put my hand right here towards the bottom of the carry bag, short, maybe like two inches, and make my first fold. I'm gonna double check that, and then just make your consecutive folds, pushing the air out as you go along. Here's another tip on how to work smarter and not harder. If you just sit on your SE9 for a few seconds, it'll press everything down and get all the last bit of air out of there. Getting your SE9 into the carry bag is pretty easy. Once you get about a fifth of it in there, you're gonna use gravity to assist you. Stand it up on its edge, grab the sides of the carry bag and just lift. You can see by this fold that there's plenty of room left for any additional accessories. When not in use, it can be stowed in a closet or kept in your car trunk or your RV ready to go at a moment's notice. Now if you find this video helpful and would like to see others like it, please click on the link above and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm Dan from Seagull.com and I'll see you out on the water.